Hello everyone and welcome back to Meerkat Musings. I'm your host Ben, coming at you with the Meerkat Q&A, which is essentially what it sounds like. It's a new series that I'm launching on Meerkat Musings. You'll find, if you if you check out the website, uh, you know, meerkatmusings.co.uk, a, thus far, a small list of questions. And I am putting these out there, and I'm, I'm spreading this around social media, in the hopes that it can generate some hopefully interesting uh, kind of... Uh, blog prompts for for other people and because I'm also curious to know what other people think about certain things. So some of these questions will be quite random perhaps. Some of them will be light-hearted, others may be a touch more serious and hopefully there'll be enough variety for anyone and everyone who wants to play to take part. The first question that I have posed over on my blog is what do you regard to be a red flag in another person? And I, I did do a, a, a prompt post along these lines as well. So if you if you happen to, to go to the Q&A, it's, it's part of the main menu on the website so you can't miss it. Do feel free to, you know, to to check out what I've had to say on the subject. But equally, if you want to do it without any kind of preconceptions, that's fine. That's absolutely fine, of course. it's it's The question is out there for people to answer in their own way. As for me, what do I regard as being red flags? Um, I think people who are, you know, generally speaking, cruel, shall we say, people who are who are lacking in compassion, uh, people who who mock others for the most absurd reasons. Uh, I don't like bullies, and I, I I don't find people who tend to you know, talk down to, say, for example, um, store staff to be particularly nice people. There's a sense of entitlement that some people have when they step into into a shop like Asda or Tesco or wherever, uh, and they tend to look down upon some people working there, which is an attitude I cannot stand. Uh, you know, you, you, you hear this a lot. People will say, oh, you know, you only work at McDonald's, you can't be very smart, blah, 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 uh, overlooking the fact that this is a person who is, who is working, you know, who is doing something, they are contributing something, and, and, and they, they don't deserve to be mocked for that. Sort of related to that would be the sort of people who who believe that shouting and screaming at someone in a shop will get them what they want. And, you know, I have unfortunately encountered this more than once. You, you do get someone who comes in and they are super aggressive and they are more or less demanding that, um, that the store puts a problem right for them. They They clearly perhaps in the past have gotten their way by being belligerent and unfortunately companies do have a little bit of a habit of bending over backwards when someone starts getting shouty or threatens a complaint they they have rules in place but then they don't always follow them if they if they feel slightly threatened in any way shape or form which can then of course put the the staff who have been on the receiving end of someone's misplaced anger uh, kind of out of joint a little bit. It, it makes us look silly when a company you know, takes the side of the shouty customer. My view is that if you're nice to me, I'll be as nice and as helpful possible back. If you come in all guns blazing, shouting and screaming, then I can guarantee you that your query and your issue will be placed to the bottom of the list and it will not be a priority for me in any way, shape or form. I don't think there's ever a need to, to raise your voice like that. It doesn't achieve anything, uh, at least not as far as I'm concerned, and it never will. So those are the sort of things which make up my, my red flags 
uh, as it were, in, in one way, shape or form. People who are like that, people who have those traits and attributes are not people I particularly care to associate with. The second question was much more light-hearted. Question two was, very simply, what do you think of putting pineapple on pizza? I know that some people find this to be almost sacrilegious and they wouldn't dream of, of this union. Somewhere along the line, this combination of of a you know, typically very savoury dish, of course, uh, has... And this and this you know this citrus fruit became a thing, and people some people are repelled by this. I don't actually personally have any great objection to pineapple on pizza. I don't go out of my way to have it. It's not my first choice, uh, but I actually don't mind it. But then I grew up with party snacks which included the the cheese and pineapple together on a stick so you know you, you just have these as little kind of like nibbles at a party particularly a kid's party and i as i say grew up with that so for me cheese and pineapple have, have always kind of gone together and it's not a big jump from there to having pineapple on a pizza and pizzas of course traditionally normally have a layer of cheese so it's an association which is not that alien to me uh, as much as some people perhaps think maybe it should be. Finally, I put forward the question as to what would be uh, your green flags in another, another person. So, you know, a, a positive kind of thing. What would you um, think of as being someone's positive attributes that might make you, uh, shall we say, attracted to someone or, or keen to be someone's friend? And I think you know people who are who are just treating everyone pleasantly. You know, pe- people who are always being kind of courteous and, and, and friendly and warm. That helps put me at ease a little bit. You know, uh, people who who treat you with the same level of respect that they might treat someone who, you know, from an official standpoint, might be ten times more important. That's always been a very, a very positive trait to me, and you know, pe- people who who are passionate and enthusiastic about the things that they love. So you know, just to wrap up an example here, the actor Henry Cavill, for example, uh, obviously well known for playing Superman among other roles, uh, noted for being this this hulking great big beast of a man, but he. Uh, you know, he he still comes across as being quite humble. He has a passionate love of fixing up computers. He enjoys the role playing game Warhammer, uh, which is something else he's passionate about. And and he doesn't doesn't hide his love of those things that people might find to be geeky. And and that's, I think, a green flag in someone. You know, uh, when you're kind of not afraid to be who you are, as long as that, of course, is, is someone who is pleasant and nice and not cruel and petty, that's a positive thing. That's a green flag to to look at. So that's the first three questions. If you want to, then you know, do feel free to, to answer them, of course. If you happen to have a blog, then obviously do your thing on your blog. If you want to reply to this video with your answers, go for it. Whatever format you feel kind of most happy about. And of course, there's no obligation to do anything. It's an idea that I'm putting out there that might generate a bit of friendly discussion and banter. So, yeah, that's the purpose behind the Meerkat Q&A. Hopefully, I will hear and see... Of some answers to these questions in the not so distant future.